All right, so we're back. Um, as we were walking across the landscape, perhaps it got included in the last one. I don't know if it is yet. Uh, mm. we've, I, I, I saw what I thought was a, a healing spring, and I thought I'd rest there, given that I only have 11 sanity left. But uh, as it turns out, it's actually... Uh, Something neither of us has seen. Yeah, so again, this is this is supposedly the first playthrough on this computer. Uh, we've both played the game before. I've played quite Multiple a bit of the times. game. And I've already seen three new things that I've never seen before. Uh, so yeah. It's, you know, it's entirely possible that an update has happened since we last played but it's possible uh that actually is oh you know what that's even probable because i've been playing without an internet connection so i've been playing for the last month and a half on probably the last bill oh that actually makes a lot of sense now i feel kind of dumb well i i mean this actually is good in the sense that now we really yes. know that the developers are still definitely <laughs> yes. working they are definitely still working um i'm gonna go ahead and look into the well at night because that sounds awesome we waited. A in... golden temple became visible in the water. Oh! What did it show me? Where it is? The fuck? Unless it. Oh, is where it? is it? I don't understand. Everyone's what... telling us about this. Oh, maybe it's. Mm. Wait, where? What do you think? Maybe it's still hidden because we haven't found the other seal yet. That is. Possible. It's usually I don't want to think of that, but it's possible. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat up. On some so that that actually sounds kind of like a design flaw because um, I think those be revealed. I think those would be beneficial had there not been any seals. But no matter what, when we unlock all the seals, the temples or the pyramids always revealed. Yeah. Um, so I think that's actually a, a flaw in, in how they designed um, the pyramid isn't even unearthed yet. Exactly. Okay. All right. Yeah, that is that is a flaw then. Uh, slaver camp. I'm not even gonna walk in there. Nah. Uh, they have nothing that I want. Um, I have found it useful to buy slaves sometimes. Sure, but then your standing goes down by five. Yeah. yeah uh, there we go. Second seal. All right. Let's activate it. Okay. And, then... and of course it is. Of uh, fucking course it is. Whatever. I'm just gonna eat the rest of my meat. Let's do this. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't uh, follow through playthrough. So. 167. Hey, and look, that's the only place that requires the water. Awesome. So 167. I'm just gonna get here and then I'll I'll do whatever. Like I'm not even worried about it. We have so much like bonus stuff. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we're going and 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 please don't go through the fire. Oh, they're going through the no, fire. No, no, stop, stop, stop. What the fuck is wrong with you? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, honestly, it's like you have no self-preservation instinct <laughs> whatsoever. It's worthless. the easiest lands to traverse. Just worthless. All right, I'm going to eat the rest of this meat once I get there. Yeah, it's the easiest because it's been burned by the volcano. Yeah. You don't walk through Mount Doom because your trip will be flatter. <laughs> that isn't how this works. Come on. God damn it. Oh, Get man. Down here without setting yourself on fire. I we're, am going to have to gonna... walk quite a, quite a ways. Yeah, um, I, I think we need to find a, a solution. Okay. Uh, mount up. Oh. Uh, it, I am maybe we should have done that sooner. Yeah, maybe I should have. All right, so 64. Okay, this I is... I don't think we're going to We're going to have to eat Wait, 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 wait. Is there a... Um... No, we're going to have to eat the donkey. It's fine. We'll eat the donkey. That's an option? Yeah. When you go crazy? Uh, sometimes. Uh, sometimes the first thing that they ask you is, hey, can we just eat the donkey? And the answer is yes, you can eat the donkey. Nope. Oh. Oh. What? Um, you, you just, you just killed a guy. Oh. You killed a guy. Uh, uh well, okay, I'm gonna dismount. Sorry, I'm gonna dismount. buddy. This is what starts to happen when you, you run out of sanity. Your people really do start to lose it and they start murdering each other. But hey, we route, did it. Route, route, route. We're done. We're done. No. No. <laughs> no. We're out. We're out and we're done. All right. As long as our donkey survives the entire game, I'll be happy. Right. Build a pony. We named the donkey. It's got a <laughs> uh, Okay. Let's see. What do we got here? Good reputation. Dream so, vision. And this is this is an interesting point, too, because there are, um, well, I guess there's only one trait that really benefits other traits. Uh, like, uh, what's the one where you get five Polygraph. traits. Yeah, it's at this point, like, that's that trait becomes useless because yep. this is the last trait yep. we're going to yep. choose. Yep. Which is why Ada Lovelace, is, or Marie Curie, I can't remember which one it is, one of the two ladies that has... starts with it? Yeah, she starts with it, and just, like, you can pretty much pick up Polyglot, your first one, and Impetus, your second one, 90% yeah. of the time, and then you're sitting pretty. Uh, in this case, I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to take Dream Visions. Uh, can be useful. Yeah, uh, I actually, I think that's going to be the best because I doubt there's going to be a ton of hills, yeah. and... Uh, <laughs> Jesus we don't really care about standing right now. I have right one now. funds left. 
Nice, but okay. you are famous as fuck. Yes, and we're gonna go ahead and gift that, and then I'm just gonna sell all of these teeth. Yeah, at this point, I doubt anyone's really gonna beat I'm you. Gonna sell though, <laughs> so much money. Uh, horrible prehistoric lands. You were right. The sixth one is always prehistoric. Nice. Uh, you can unlock them earlier if you happen to find a dinosaur skull mm -hmm. and you bring it back. Then your next one, you have the option. Doesn't have to be, but you have the option of going to them. The lands uh, of We brought back no musical instruments. We were too busy uh, beasting it out and the being bongo, awesome. The bongo, by the way, is awesome. Yeah, you can um, get those tuned up by a shaman. Yeah. And, and I mean, there. I've hit points in which I stop using them um, just because they take up a lot of space. They take up the one slot. And yeah. They don't stack. Uh, or they do stack, actually. But bongos, um, what they do is every 10 steps, or every 10 days, I guess, yep. um, you can play them and recover 10 sanity, it's or get nice. them tuned up and recover 15. So this is the last expedition, so I have no need to save funds, so I'm gonna go ahead and just buy everything. You should buy medkits. Uh, I should buy medkits. Because we're gonna get hurt and I'm by the raptors. And flares. Ooh, nope, 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 I do want those. Okay, uh, so I think that's probably Torches? good. Torches? Yeah, what the hell? Why not? Oh, no, okay, okay. Uh, Although we might be starting with more equipment than we can hold. Whatever, I'll just drop it when we start. <laughs> like every good expedition it's, of the 1800s, over plan rather than under plan. It is really <laughs> funny that they allow you to do that. Ah, there we go, starting overburdened. Okay, uh, so first off, I'm going to go ahead and just use all my costume and flares. I'm just going to shoot them off around me and sort of get an idea of where I can start. How, how far can you shoot those? Pretty far. Um, the, with the, with a sailor in the party, you can shoot them farther, but I don't have one. So oh. I'm going to pop this guy two upgrades just because... He's actually going to be pretty useful. I'm, I'm glad we got that guy. The translator? Yeah. If we can get some lizard people, that'd be pretty awesome. That would be pretty awesome. I would love to get a lizard man. Um, sorry, we're giving away some of the twists. When I first discovered that there were lizard <laughs> men in the game, I was so happy. Super appropriate for the prehistoric oh, lands, super but... probes. Okay, so we're out of those. I really wish the inventory was a little better managed. Oh, oh we... I started a fire. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I forgot to mention that those flares can start fires, and, uh... Yeah, it's... I, I remembered. I just didn't care. <laughs> It's the last well, one. I, At this point, I could balloon out and still and still just win. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not worried about the fire. I, I just think design-wise, it's actually kind of a fun thing to, to, yeah. to do. The like, weather balloons are a little different. They don't start fires, but they're a little more localized. Mm -hmm. um, then what's the other one that you can use? Uh, mushrooms. The mushroom, mushrooms, the mushrooms sometimes mushrooms. make you crazy. <laughs> Uh, explore a cave. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, oh, mummies. Nice. Mummies are good. Uh, yeah, I'll take a mummy. Um, I'm going to throw back that. Sure. This. I'm gonna throw that. Yeah, I, I find so those uh, marbles beads. are they beads? beads? Yeah. So those are basically purely a trading yep. thing. Only um, for trading. And I actually don't like them because really? they barely make a difference. Uh, unless you have a diplomat or a Persian trader, and then everything you trade with them becomes... Oh, here we go. This uh -huh. is a fun one. Uh, we lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a concealed passage in one of the walls. It's this little ass crack right here. Uh, that seemed to lead into another part of the cave. Only one person would be able to squeeze through at a time. So... Every you're... time I've done this, they've died. Yep. So this is the new guy. So head on in there, new guy. He was shaking in fear. And screams of terror echoed from within, and he never came back. James Sterling, going after him. Uh, we waited a long time, but he didn't come back to us. Ah, damn. Uh, well, we're going to leave then, and I'm just going to balloon out. GG, guys. Ready the balloon. What are we taking with us? The mummy. <laughs> the mummy. We're taking the mummy, and we're escaping. I never considered that as a possibility. Yep. You need two people to set it up. Never send your third guy in. Always, when you've got two people left, just boogie. Just boogie. Just huh. get out. So I think, actually, because of the quickness with which uh, we completed this one, I actually had the quest to complete it in 80 days or less. Uh, <laughs> this counts. Um, you don't get a perk, as it is the last mission. And no! We might be able to... Are you shitting me? Well, I'm gonna. I'm oh. definitely gonna get a second place finish, but I don't get first. That fucking sucks. Damn. Damn you, Dion Fortune. All right, whatever. So, congrats. You finished in uh, second. Can you do even better? Maybe. Maybe if I don't peace out on the last mission after sacrificing two of my people to the angry maw of the mountain. <laughs> it's unfortunate that we didn't see all this stuff from the prehistoric lands, but I mean, we've been talking about it the entire series. So there were yeah. raptors. There were lizard people. Yeah. There um, were lots of volcanoes, and that was kind of it. Yeah. Um, other than that, it was everything you've already seen. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, just uh, it's a really really good game uh, I know it's still in early access um, or alpha I don't think it's I think it's out of early access it's in alpha I think well early access is is sort of a blanket term for all games yeah. that are just still in development on this Steam. is either build 15 or build 16 in the alpha 
I don't know which. I think, I think we saw Alpha 16. I think I'm only playing through on 15. So I think 16 contains mm. all the stuff that was new to us today. All the Cenotes, uh, the Necronomicon being in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and what was the other one? The uh, that that uh, the water the, the no the the cenote was was one of them but there there was another thing that we saw that was new wasn't there there were three things there was like I know you you're right I don't remember what it was shit I don't know I'll we'll have to watch her footage <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah the game is it has a really distinct art style it has a really unique feel uh, where, that it's all dedicated to exploration uh, it is a pretty difficult game I know today's playthrough made it look a little easy. Um, but it, it, th this was the first playthrough. We're using Charles Darwin. He's probably the easiest character to succeed with. Maybe there are yeah. others. Uh, my personal favorite character is Frederick Courtney Sellis. Uh, I think he starts off the strongest. He gets like a British soldier and a Persian translator. That's, and that's a pretty good. Like, yeah, he's, he's ridiculously strong to start with. Um, the, I really, I just like the game. I like the music. I like the visual of it. I like the yeah, feel. Yeah, we, we haven't I even just... talked a lot about the sound either, but the music is perfect. The sound effects are amazing. They really are. Um, and I I haven't talked much about the art style, but I think it's actually very, very well done because if you, I mean, this screen right now is a very good example of everything that the art style is. It uses pixel art, but it uses flat colors. Yep. And all the detail is purely in the shape, which is a beautiful way of using negative space. It, it's And it, it makes the game feel a lot more lush and you can it it, 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 it kind of pulls on the depth. imagination yeah. of, of the player um which is something that we don't really get to see in a lot of games these days especially not with pixel art a lot of games who try to do pixel art end up doing like way over detailed stuff like i remember Crawl, yeah yeah there's it was well really it's muddy it's the argument be between um modern pixel art games and classic pixel art games yes classic ones you had to use your imagination because they literally didn't have it's the <laughs> the technological budget to handle yeah. it and nowadays when we can do really crazy stuff with pixel art. Um, Mercenary Kings is a very good example where the animations are fluid. They've got beautiful details and all of all of the uh, the sprites and everything. And it's there's no imagination. It's still beautiful. Um, it but it's it it's crazy just like how little imagination you need for pixel art these days. Yeah. Um, not to say I'm not is trying to say that's a bad thing either. There. But um, <laughs> I uh, I grew up. Um, going to my grandparents' place in North Carolina and there there are mountains all over the place out there and they really do look like this where 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 there'll be just like these shapes that are just like a slightly different shade than the shapes that are a little closer so I really do I think I think the visual style is excellent um I guess a few a few possible issues to take with the game. It is only an alpha, um, so there is it, it is a bit primitive and a little simplistic at times. What mm -hmm. with the quest design and uh, there's only one music track as far as I know, and it repeats pretty frequently. And occasionally yeah. I run into errors with the music track where it'll uh, overlap. Yeah, it'll keep the menu music going over the other music. Oh, it's so annoying. Yeah, it, gotta quit and start over. Every time I found that, it, I was able to correct it pretty quickly. But it's it's fairly low tech, so for, it's. it's Good. For an alpha, so traditionally alphas aren't supposed to be this beautiful. Really? Um, I, I disagree that it's in alpha. I actually would say this is in beta. Now, the developers obviously have decided otherwise, but traditionally alphas don't really have art. They use placeholder art and they don't have sound effects or music. <laughs> they have maybe placeholder sound effects or music. Um, and this is a common thing I've noticed with a lot of early access games is they don't really understand what those terms represent. I would laugh my ass off if like they're like, no, 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 this pixel stuff, this is just placeholder art. We're doing photorealism. We're going full Call of Duty on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if they do that, I'm going to vomit. I'm going to find them and I'm going to vomit all over them because they'll have destroyed everything I loved just about the style. request the alpha version of the game. Like, can you please... Please um, just, you know, not ever show me that again. Give me back my I, alpha I know, build. I know this photorealism thing is big with dinosaur games these days, but can we please go <laughs> back to the pixels? One of the things I like about... One of the things that I think is kind of weird, actually, is that the title screen actually has a couple of different cities that it shows you. It's it's very industrial. Yeah. It, it gives it a lot of contrast yeah. to what we're... A, like this is where we start, but yeah. it's certainly not where we go. So we're done. We're we're done playing this. But if you look, you can go in the Hall of Fame, and it'll tell you where you ended mm -hmm. uh, with that. And then also, these are all the people we unlocked. Uh, we didn't collect 300 fame. Uh, we didn't finish an expedition with 15 or more standing. Uh, we didn't walk through the fire, which that's my favorite character. Uh, that's a, Alistair Crowley. He's so good. Um, we didn't complete the Gentleman's Quest. Even though we did, it was actually on the last one, and we didn't go to the Golden Pyramid, so I guess it doesn't count. Uh, we haven't recruited a native scout, and we haven't blown up a mountain. That's uh, Nikola Tesla, by the way. So for those of you who want to play with Tesla, blow up a mountain first. <laughs> um, as far as I know, you just have to complete the objective. You don't actually have to live through and finish out the expedition. Um, regardless, I think you're right. 
Frederick Courtney Sellis. This guy is where it's at. Persian translator and a cook. That's why. And a donkey. And a, and a campsite. He's just so good. I was disappointed with the campsites for the longest time until I realized that storing stuff in your camp actually meant that it does go back to... to it doesn't go home with Only you? Only with the missionary. If you store really? it in the camp, it's a temporary storage site that you can go back to before you exit the yeah, level. Yeah, I, I still hate the camps then. Yeah, Rachel I, and I were playing through it one time, and she totally fucked us because she insisted. <laughs> she stored everything there. She was there. absolutely insistent that if we stored everything there and went out for more, we were on one of those levels where we had like a dozen shrines to raid. We were carrying around like four mummies with us. It was mm -hmm. ridiculous. So we camped, and we were like, oh yeah, this stuff will totally come back to us. Uh, and then it also didn't. starts with a hunting rifle. Ah. Yeah. So he's got like three of the best guys right away. He starts with very little in the way of enhancement, but you've got a cook and you've got a rifle. What Those are all things need? you can fix later yeah, on. You'll just make burnt animal meat until you level that guy up. But still, you know. So um, um, general all around wrap up. Um, I think this game is absolutely amazing. Absolutely and amazing. I think design wise, they are actually some of the smartest designers I've seen in a while. If only for one very specific reason, we have the full game right here yep. in front of us. They... I honestly believe they don't actually need to develop any new mechanics at this point. All they need to do is add variety yep. to, to each of the existing challenges. I concur. Maybe new characters, new challenges for the temples and, or the shrines, and, and just everything that already exists, give it more variety, and you will have a perfect game. Yeah, I uh, I concur. Uh, I'm saying 8 out of 10 right now, um, just as a, as a basic, because a slight lack of variety and a little bit of... Uh, Maybe maybe a little bit of maybe a little bit more explanation, mm -hmm. just a little yes, bit. Yes, don't, that, that don't I agree. Take away from the exploratory angle, but maybe make it so that I don't die four times before figuring out how a thing works. Yeah. I mean, it's just because there's there are some people that just don't think certain ways, and I don't know. right, you, you don't want to penalize players for not assuming things. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm saying eight out of ten, and for a game that's technically only an alpha. Or beta, whatever it is. Yeah, That's yeah. That's awesome. For the, I think this game definitely beats the early access kind of uh, perception. It certainly comes <laughs> above the average bar for early access. God, early access. Sometimes early access games are like, congrats, thanks for buying this game. We'll release it shortly. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually really don't like early access, but yeah. every, whenever I find, whenever we find gems like this, it makes it worth it. Oh, totally, totally. Um, um, so, so yeah. yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, there's plenty more in this game that we didn't Seriously. even find. There's, there's six, what is it? Uh, no, I'm, I'm wrong. There's, yeah, no, there are. There are 16 total explorers. Uh, they all require adopting completely different playstyles. Uh, for one of the playstyles, you never enter a village or a missionary uh, or, or a mission uh, because if you do, your party members will leave you. Yeah. So instead, you have to just camp out in the woods and murder everything you come across <laughs> with your bare hands. It's kind of fun. Alistair Crowley, he's a good time. Give it a shot. Um, play the game. Play the game. Definitely play the game. If you want to, we, I would love to play this when it hits its full release too. So if you would like to see us play that, please comment and let us know because we will happily oblige. If you have played the game, you've had a good experience with one particular explorer and you want to see us give it a shot, leave a comment to that effect and we'll do it. Yeah, and I mean, even feel free to comment on any of the past episodes. I know we don't talk about it much, but commenting actually helps us, helps us out a ton and it gives us an opportunity to talk to you too. Yes, uh, your comments so. are the lens through which we view the community. Yep. So give us a lens, we're blind here. <laughs> Cool. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you in the archives. See you in the archives. Dance on. That was good. That was really good. Went well.